One of the classical Hello World examples of reinforcement learning is the inverse pendulum. A pole is mounted on a cart. The cart can move in one dimension, for example to the left or to the right. The center of mass is located above the pivot point, for example as shown here on the right side. A force is applied to move the cart to the right and to the left to keep the pendulum upright. Important parameters of this system are the position of the cart, the velocity of the cart, the angle of the pole and the angular velocity. For training your enforcement learning algorithms, OpenAI Gym offers a simulation of a simplified version of this model that delivers exactly these four parameters for your control algorithm and that expects that you keep applying impulses from the left or from the right to keep the pole upright. In our experiment, we used a Model 1 from Analog Paradigm to create an analog version of OpenAI Gym simulation. You can see Model 1 on the right side. This is the simulation algorithm. It is wired on the Model 1 using the black, blue, yellow and red cables. On top of Model 1 there is an oscilloscope that shows the output of some training episodes of the reinforcement learning algorithm. On the left is a Mac on which a Python script runs the reinforcement learning and which uses Model 1's hybrid controller to send commands from the digital computer to the analog computer. As you can see, in the beginning the reinforcement learning algorithm fails quickly. We defined to fail as an angle of more than about 30 degrees or the X position of the card larger than 0 0.9. When a training episode fails, the Python learning algorithm immediately begins a new episode. This oscilloscope shows the control actions of the Python script. A bar in the middle means thinking or controls nothing but calculates and learns. A bar on the top means push the card to the right and a bar on the bottom means push the card to the left. After a little while, some episodes later, it all starts to work really smoothly. The angle of the pole sticks near to the vertical axis and the control movements seem intelligent. Analog computers are really interesting beasts. Our experiment shows that you can use them to train digital reinforcement learning algorithms.